on our fridge we place many magnets and we use magnets for, for playing different types of games right there is lot of fun by playing with magnets because things stick to each other right while we using magnets same way as we know that the garbage which is collected at our places will be taken by the people of the municipal corporation and they will go and dump it at the dumping yards where it will be dumped in landfills what is landfill a big hole in the earth so while dumping this garbage in the landfill some amount of iron things will also be there in that garbage so these iron things will take lot of time to decompose and degrade so what happens when the cranes which are dumping this garbage those cranes cranes help in cleaning the heaps of the junks of the garbage magnets are attached to the ends of the cranes which stick iron junk to it so cranes you know diggers cranes excavators right so cranes help take the garbage from the garbage truck and dump it in the landfill so to the ends of these cranes where garbage is collected magnet will be attached so that in the process of dumping whatever iron particles are there will get sticked to the cranes which will be removed further by the laborers so like that way one method to the ends of the cranes iron will be attached so that the iron particles stick to it and will be separated in the process of separation of garbage then in what things we see magnets in our daily life you know all pins right pins used to attach join one paper to another so in that pin holders the all pins will be stick to a magnet same way some of your pencil boxes when you close the pencil box they go and stick to each other the lid why because there is presence of some magnet in that then fridge door fridge door also sometimes automatically goes and closes why because there is a magnetic property in the fridge doors so how are these magnets actually discovered you know a shepherd right a shepherd who grazes the sheep so his name was magnus so while he was grazing the sheep he used to carry a stick in his hand which used to have a iron end so while grazing he would do that while climbing the mountains to take the help of the stick and climb the mountains right so in that process what he observed was the iron end which was there to his stick was sticking to the rocks 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 are nothing but the stones of the mountains so in the process of taking his sheep for the grazing the iron end of his stick was sticking to the rocks in that way he discovered there is some sticking property to the rocks and the magnet so that that is how the rocks were treated as magnetite so rocks were then called as magnetite so the rocks were known as the magnetite thereafter because they were having some sticking property with the iron of the stick so that is how magnetite it was discovered so the ma word magnet came from the name magnus magnus was the name of the shepherd and the rocks were known as the magnetite to which his iron sticks were sticking so substances having the property of attracting iron are known as the magnets so after that it was clear that substances having property of attracting iron are known as the magnets because in that discovery he discovered that this iron stick was attracting those magnets and sticking to each other it was difficult to pull it so those rocks were called as magnetite and the place where that was discovered was known as magnesia they thought like that because it is very ancient thing so substances having the property of attracting iron are known as magnets and these magnets are usually naturally occurring substances so these rocks are the naturally occurring magnets so examples of naturally occurring magnet is rocks but from pieces of iron process of making magnets were discovered so now it was clear that iron was attracting the substances so it was clear that the magnets will be made from iron then artificial discover artificial processing of magnets was discovered so from pieces of iron the process of making magnets were discovered so what were the artificial magnets in the market outside the book stalls we get artificial magnets which are of different shapes known as the bar magnet horseshoe shaped magnet ball and magnet cylindrical magnet so these are all artificially made magnets with the help of iron they are of different shapes so you can do a simple experiment to fool any of your friend you take a iron stand with a clamp to this clamp you attach a plastic glass and cover it with a lid and inside you put a magnetic piece and you cover it with a lid so people will not be knowing what is there inside the glass inside the plastic glass because you have covered with a the lid then to a thread attach a 
paper clip. What is paper clip? It is a small clip like thing which attaches to paper. To hold the paper, we have put a paper clip. So tie a, paper, tie a thread to the paper clip and hold it here. What happens? This magnet will attract the paper clip. That gives us an instance that the paper clip is flying in the air with the help of thread. So understood, right? To a clamp, we have attached a paper glass. In the paper glass, you have put a small piece of magnet and you have covered it with the glass so that people will not know what is inside the glass. Then you have taken a paper clip and to the paper clip you have attached a thread. And then you, when you take the paper clip near the glass, because of the magnetic attracting property, this paper clip sticks to the glass and it gives the instance of that paper clip is flying in the air. So that is how again with the help of magnets you can show to your friends. Then there are some materials, many materials around us which are having magnetic property and some materials which do not have magnetic property. So magnetic materials, materials which get attracted towards a magnet are known as a magnetic material. Materials which get attracted towards a magnet are known as the magnetic materials. Examples are iron, nickel and cobalt. Same way non-magnetic materials. Materials which are not attracted towards a magnet are known as the non-magnetic materials. Examples can be plastic, cloth and wood. So these are many magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. Suppose if you take a hockey stick and put a piece of magnet here and keep walking on the ground, you attract many things here. So that is how you will know what is a magnetic material and what is a non-magnetic material. Same way if you take a magnet and rub it in the soil, what happens? Some pieces of soil get attached to the magnet. Those are nothing but small pieces of iron which remain stick to the magnet from the soil. In soil, there are different types of things mixed. So, when you take a stick or when you take any magnet and you rub it in the sand, some particles get stick to the magnet. Those particles which stick to the magnet are nothing but the iron particles. Soil is a mixture of many things. So, if you try this experiment in many types of soils, you see many particles attached to a magnet that means that soil is rich of iron particles if few things are attached to a magnet that means the soil has very few iron particles if no particles are attached to the magnet when you rub it in the soil that indicates that there are no iron particles in the soil so that is how you rub magnet in a soil and see that iron pieces are attached to it